Hello everybody, happy, happy hump day. It is Wednesday. I know you're usually seeing Tanner today, but he did the live stream on Monday and Tuesday. So we thought we'd give him a break today and have us on the live. And guys, <laughs> by us, guess what? Okay, this has never happened ever, but Courtney is here to co-host the live today. Courtney, say hello. Hello everybody, how are you? Courtney's here. So, I'm behind the camera yes. on the computer. She's, she's behind the camera on the computer. Yes, she is um, co-hosting, moderating the comments, changing the screens. It's her first time. Mm -hmm. So guys, give her some love. Welcome her because she's never been here. So guys, take this opportunity while Courtney's here on a live stream to ask all the questions that you asked Tanner and that he forgets to ask Courtney. <laughs> So while she's here today, I can answer any questions you have. Today. She'll answer any questions you have. Plus, we have a super easy craft today, which is going to be this adorable little uh, card holder, a gift card holder, perfect for the holidays, uh, which are coming up. By the way, they're next week. Crazy. Crazy. I'm not all that ready. But You're not I'm ready. Have for to it. be ready. No. I think we're going to try to finish our Christmas shopping tonight. Oh, you're you're still Christmas shopping. Oh, yes. Are you? How uh -huh. much more do you have to do? Mm -hmm. well, we got it. We got a little bit to do. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. So, Courtney, the question of the hour, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good today. Uh, yesterday was a good day. I just have some like occasional random symptoms like I don't know if this is COVID, but my feet cannot get warm like they are <laughs> freezing it sounds like uh, a blood flow problem yeah. to me. honestly i'm not sure yesterday when i was eating dinner i had a mouthful of food my body would not let me swallow it <laughs> okay <God. laughs> oh so, Tanner's watching this Tanner, yeah dinner is like really kind of worried that i am uh, not doing so well i also have some kidney problems Hoping to get those figured out next You're, week. Do you regret that you asked yet, guys? <laughs> I'm joking. So I feel better than I felt last week, but we're still dealing with some stuff. So It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Fine. But she's on the up and up, uh, yes. hopefully. Those symptoms are super random, uh, but we really hope that Courtney starts to feel better. We're so glad she's here. Um, it's a crap day today outside, that is. It's, it's in so, the 40s. So ugly outside. So ugly out. Raining. It's still raining right now. It's just blech. It's a blah day. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in. I'm so excited to share this with you. It's going to be, this is going to be a shorter live stream because it's just so simple. We're cutting paper so easy. Uh, I already have it pre-cut for you guys because your time is super valuable to us. Yes. Um, all of the supplies as always are down below as, as well as all the cut files we're using. We're using a cut file that Miss Becca made for the actual card holder here. And then we have a cut file that that we use for this adorable bow. So we're gonna be showing you how to put all that together today with some of our favorite craft supplies. Um, let's see, everybody's so excited to see Court. Okay, so just because someone asked, I'm gonna say it. Miss Debbie said, how is Becca? So yes. Becca, unfortunately, cannot shake this fever of hers. She still feels fine, but her fever is around the 100 range and she's just not feeling all that great. So she went back to the doctor this morning and they wanted to test her for COVID one more time. That'll be four times in the past 10 days. Correct. So, um, she's hoping, honestly, this sounds terrible. She's hoping it will be positive just so she has some answers for how she's been feeling. She, because if it's not COVID, she has no idea why she's felt this bad for so long. Mm -hmm. So pray for Miss Becca. Absolutely. She's going to be waiting on her results. She'll know in the morning. Um, and if it is COVID, I don't want y'all to freak out, you know, for me to say that if it is COVID, she will be like, on the downhill slide. She will have had it for like 10 or 12 days or something like that already. So she is gonna to be totally fine. She just wants some answers. So thank you guys so much. Uh, continue to pray for her. Lori Jo, you're getting ready for a snowstorm. Yes, it's snowing a, a couple places in the country. I think wow. North Carolina is supposed to get yeah? snow. Yeah, oh guys, you might have a snowy Christmas. Yeah. Yes, so 
I'm going to go through the supplies that we're using. This is going to be a great live again to ask any questions that you have. We still have our amazing Christmas sale for Makers Gonna Learn. If you do not know who we are or what we do, we run an amazing digital media website that gives you guys amazing membership perks for your die cutting machines such as cut files, fonts. We have printable guides like this one if you are brand new. We have a lot of newbies that have gotten their um, machines early which is amazing uh, so if you are brand new this is the perk that you need tanner uh had me develop this Here's over the summer hi that's so rude <laughs> that darn you wonder what she found i don't know what she found i didn't yeah. even look it's nothing important <laughs> anyways um tanner had me develop this over the summer and it is 30 videos of amazing content for you guys that goes through opening your cricut making your first project the products that you need beginner tutorials troubleshooting tips so so much more and you even have this amazing booklet and guys this is only one of so many amazing perks for our members so if you want that membership go yearly get 40 dollars off using that code best the Comment is pinned to the top. Miss Courtney is pasting it in the comments and it's always the very first link in the description below, which is awesome. Feel free to ask any questions about the membership, about the sale, uh, about any perks that we might have, anything like that, or about the, you know, the craft we're making today. Um, so as far as supplies go, super minimal today. You're going to need some paper of your choice. We're using three different colors, like kind of a creamy, yeah, that's pretty beige, like a creamy beige. We're using a, uh, would you say this is yellow or orange, Court? Orange, for sure. Okay, orange, for sure. So then we're using an orange and a green. You're not picking them up on the camera well. The camera's a little blown out. Sorry, guys. We'll show you on the B cam a little bit later. Super cute colors, but find some that work for you. The one that Miss Becca made, I'm loving her color combos mm -hmm. with this little um, pop of pink here. Love it. Um, so that is great. Uh, hi, Sin. How are you doing? Janice, we are about an hour outside of Knoxville in Morristown. It's a super small little town. Um, along with your paper, you're also going to need some uh, dry adhesive. We love our ATG gun. You guys know we preach on this guy all the time. He is linked below if you want to get one. Uh, they're great. I know they look scary. They're not hard to use. We're also going to be using hot glue uh, to make our bow today. You could use dry adhesive or even something like Elmer's glue, but from every bow that we've made, it is so much easier to have hot glue because it dries so fast. And as we're working quickly, it really does the job. So we have our amazing Sherbonder cordless hot glue gun here that we love. Um, and then other than that, some basic Cricut things that you guys probably should have. We have some scissors. We have a bone folder. Now this is not a necessity but if you're a paper crafter I would recommend grabbing one because they're really good to have um, because there is some score lines in this project today these help so much when getting those nice crisp creases in your score lines in your paper um, speaking of score lines to make your score lines you're gonna need a scoring stylus or if you have the Cricut maker and you have opted to grab the scoring wheel there is a double and a single scoring wheel feel free to use those today but we're gonna be using or scoring at stylus because it's easy and we have it available for us so let me see i don't think i've missed anything court have i missed anything uh no susan wants to know what we could do to make the project more masculine okay Maybe yeah absolutely change up the colors you could do like a light blue and a dark blue yes. make it like wintry Good. or if you're giving it on christmas uh traditional red and green yeah. i don't think that's feminine no really, so mm -hmm. i think that would you don't have to have a bow either uh, the actual cup file doesn't come with a bow it right. mostly looks like this so that's kind of what it looks like when we flip this around this is what it would look like uh, if you did it with just the cup file that comes with it this is definitely more simple more masculine you can write to and from up here if you want to take up that yeah. space that you used um great question though i did see one let me see. Oh, Miss Kelly, will your membership help me learn the Cricut Explore Air? A friend gave it to me for free. 
Absolutely, that is an amazing question. Just because we have a maker on the table and a lot of people get confused because our membership is called Makers Gonna Learn, but the maker is you, you are the maker and we help you learn your die cutting machine, whether you have a Cricut Explore Air, Air 2, Maker, Brother Scan and Cut, Silhouette Cameo and so on, we can help you master your machine. Um, if your machine works with digital cut files, which most machines on the market do, we can help you. We have thousands of cut files. I think we have over a thousand files just for Christmas, I which is so. nuts. But Courtney would know she's our creative director. Courtney is like the mastermind behind pretty much all of our cut files and the collections and how they're released. We like so, to give you lots of options for any, um, you know, vibe or style that you're looking for, for all the holidays and events in your life. We're just like for you to have a lot of options. So. Which is great, because there's so many different crafters out there. We have almost 10,000 members, which is nuts to think about. Mm -hmm. So a wide variety of cut files, I feel like can accommodate most people's different needs and things, which is amazing. Um, so guys, I hope that that is good. If you have any more questions, let me know. I told you that the supplies that we're using are super minimal today. You probably have all of these or a variation of all of these in your craft space. Um, also, I've been been getting a lot of compliments on my live streams about my cup the girl who gave me my cup is here mm -hmm. and she actually has this cup too yeah. and fun fact Tanner made fun of Courtney in the store saying that none of her bridesmaids would ever use this cup and me and Tanner or excuse me me and Courtney have proved Tanner wrong almost oh, yes. on a daily basis because I'm pretty sure he sees this cup every day from his wife or from me yes so. my sister got one too and she came on Thanksgiving and she said that she uses hers all the time and Tanner is really blown away he said you are wasting so much money you just you don't need to get them this. They won't even use it. Get them a nice one. It's really nice. It it's keeps it nice. cold. It's cold all day. Okay. It has this little flapper in there yes. that will like kind of seal it off if the straw comes out of it. It's, it's pretty high tech. I really, really like this cup. So also, it's from Walmart, I think. I think. Yes. Yes, it's it from Walmart. It's about $10. They Ten have bucks. them in different colors, too. I can't remember what colors. I think blue maybe you need the blue one Rachel. well i can't i need one for work and then one for home so totally um well, Allie I, says, I don't love that straw that comes in it you seem oh, to like the straw i do like the straw you, you are more of a silicone straw gal yes, though metal straw with a silicone a little tip on it guys you heard it here first yeah. metal straw with a silicone tip we're just giving all the all the tips today. Miss Allie says, I want to get that ATG gun so bad. So, Allie, what is stopping you? The link is below. Grab it. It's going to be at your house in just a couple days, and you can master using this thing. It's great. We use it for most, if not all, of our paper projects that we use here. The tape lasts forever, and if you ever have a question or if you're ever concerned about how to change it, Tanner made a video that's on the YouTube channel now all about changing this thing out so you can see a step-by-step -step tutorial because it does seem a little bit tricky to do so. Um, yes, we hope you all are well too. Courtney's here and we're so excited. But um, we are going to be making these today if you guys are just tuning in. We're going to be making this one today, this version, but um, we're going to put the bow on the top because I'll just tell you guys, because we're transparent here, <laughs> Becca made this and this was today's project and I could not find the one that Becca pre-made. So I made this one and I did not know where to put the bow and then I found this one and then Courtney comes in and she goes, oh, I like the bow on the top so much better. And I'm like, me too. I just didn't know. <laughs> so we're going to be making this with these colors with the bow on the top because that's cuter. But Variety is good too. Variety is good. Um, um, yes. Kat said that she made seven of them already and she just put their name at the top. I think oh, that would be really cute. That is really cute. Uh, and I think again, she had her Cricut write it. Oh, did you have your Cricut write it? Ooh, you're stepping it up. You're stepping up your game. I'm super, super proud of you. Okay, so if we don't have any other questions about the particular project or the supplies we're using, we will head on into Design Space and I will share with you guys uh, Design Space. And if you have any questions about the membership or anything like that, we can hit on those as well. Courtney, how are you feeling about switching the cameras? I'm feeling good. Are you can you? do this. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, gosh, she's a pro. She's a pro. Look at her go. She's just perfect, flawless. Oh, dang, the ATG gun is on sale for $23. That is oh, a We really might need good to get a new deal. one. We I don't might. 
I don't know if you all have seen this one up close. I'll show it to you later when we're building out our, uh, our little project. But this one has been through it. Tanner had this other one, guys, as well. It's red for over 10 years. It's awful. It's, it looks terrible. Um, also, Janice, they do not have like walk-in to where you can shop around, but 143 does have pickup at the store. So if you place an order at the warehouse, yeah, you online, can just go into their office at the very front and pick up. Anyone. Yeah, so you can pick it up because they're in, um, is it Louisville, Kentucky? Yes. I think it's, I think that's, I think so. yeah, Louisville, Kentucky. So yeah. Um, um, uh, Dorothy wants to know what we're making today. Dorothy, just look at this beautiful screen. I know you're like, wait, what is that? Okay, so <laughs> it's gonna be a really, really cute gift card holder, perfect for Christmas. Let me just tell you, there is a ton of differences between a good gift card holder and a bad gift card holder. You can buy one at Walmart that's super cheap and super simple, or you can hand make one with love and show this one off and yes. you know give it to all of your friends and family. Because let me tell you too, guys, gift cards are easy. Now, that does doesn't mean that they're not person like personable because you know how some people are like well it's just lazy to get gift cards I personally disagree because I feel like if you know someone well enough to know like the stores they love or the restaurants they love just get them a gift card to said store or restaurant and let them be able to choose their own stuff yep. that's totally fine I think it's great so this is gonna be a really cute uh, gift card holder the file was created by miss Becca and this right down here is exactly how the file imports now if you know anything about our 3d cut files you will know that there is only a couple of steps that have to be taken to manipulate a cut file uh, for uh, to be used if it's 3d because they cannot be imported with uh, these little marks up here they can't be imported with their perforation marks they're only imported with cut lines and all we have to do is switch those over but before we do miss courtney has uh highlighted a comment for me from miss nicole she says can you tell me the difference between the six month and the 12 month membership miss nicole i would be delighted to share with you the difference between the memberships so here is our join page this is where you will go if you click the link that miss courtney pastes or that you can find in the description and the differences between our memberships we have a monthly a six month and a yearly membership and the best way that i can show you guys the differences is to come right down here and let you look for yourself so we we have again three membership tiers the monthly and six month members they have the same amount of perks um one is just billed two times a year and one is billed monthly you do save a little bit of money being a six month member than being a monthly member um but look at all the perks that you get if you choose to be a yearly member now i will go ahead and let you guys know our yearly membership is also the one that is on sale today uh for four $40 off that does break down um, monthly to $12.99 which is amazing uh, so with the monthly membership you'll get our cut files the monthly fonts you'll get the releases each month which every membership does get that you'll get access to the Facebook group some member only projects some printable guides however if you choose to go yearly not only will you get all of those perks I just mentioned but you'll also get access to an amazing software we're going to be launching next year a free commercial license which if you don't know what that means, that means that you guys can make projects using our cut files and fonts and sell them for yourself for your profit completely legally and that is completely free with our amazing yearly membership. We also have amazing uh, printable guides that only yearly members get. Um, amazing courses such as our 30 days to master your cricket challenge. We have that frame master class which if you guys see a lot of our uh, live streams we have frames we use them all the time we'll teach you how to make those in that frame master class plus 10 more online classes like building a business through die cutting how to master design space how to master your cricket different uh more difficult more hands-on in-depth projects that you guys will not be able to see anywhere else and it's on sale so if you click it and you want to join go ahead and check out but do not forget to add Add in your coupon code because check this price peep this price 191.88 okay 
if I do that math for you guys, you guys are before the coupon already saving $48 by being a yearly member versus being a monthly member. That's before the coupon. If I add in our coupon and we go up here, $151.88, guys, you are saving, uh, what is that, like 88 bucks from being a, a yearly member rather than being a monthly member over the course of a year, which is insane. And you get all of the perks. So if you and, are wanting and, membership. And with that uh, code, you'll renew at the um, yes, sale price. absolutely. Which if you join during any other sale except our uh, Black Friday and Christmas sale, at any other point, you will get the sale price this year, but the following years, you will pay full price. Court. How did I forget to mention that? Yeah. That is a great thing. Yes, it's called grandfathered in and mm -hmm. Tanner so generously chose to let you all be grandfathered in year after year at the same exact rate uh, that you continue your membership. So just like Courtney was saying, any other of our amazing sales that we have throughout the year is kind of like a coupon that you take to the grocery store. You get $2 off your gallon of milk that time, but the next time you go and get a gallon of milk, of course it's full price. Mm -hmm. But with our membership, uh, with our grandfather in rate through Black Friday and through Christmas, every single year you renew with us, you will renew at this low, low price, which is, by the way, guys, the lowest price that we have all year. It's the lowest, which is amazing. So I hope that that does answer your questions. Let me know if you have any more, but there are some major differences between the monthly and yearly, um, and it's way lower price. So that is definitely what we recommend. Um, okay, so... Oh, look at everybody saying that it's worth the membership. You guys are so sweet. We don't even have to sell. We could just come up here and make a craft and leave and you all in the comments could sell our membership for us. You guys are awesome. So, um, as I was saying about 3D cut files, there are super easy to use. This one, of course, is really easy. It might look a little bit complicated in design space. I promise you, putting this thing together is a cakewalk. Um, so, the only thing that you have to do to manipulate your cut file to be able to cut it correctly and use it correctly is go over here to the layers panel. And if you can see all of these are highlighted, you can see this one with all the random lines in it. Go ahead and click that one by itself. And if you go all the way up, I'm gonna move my mouse slowly so you can watch me. Over here, it says line type cut. All you have to do is go ahead and click that and click score. And once those lines have been changed to score, you can see right over there they have been. We're gonna click both of these layers that are gonna be uh, cut and scored together and make sure those are attached. So you're gonna do that by holding down the shift key. This one's already been selected, hold on that shift key and click the other layer. These are the layers that's gonna be cut and scored together. So that's why we want only those two. Once they're selected together, just come down here to the bottom. All the rest are shadowed out, which means we can't use them. So all that we have to be able to choose is attach and that's good because that's exactly what we wanna do. So go ahead and attach that. And oh goodness, it must have accidentally clicked them all. No big deal. Go over here, click your undo button and let me ungroup these as well. So I'm gonna come up here and ungroup. So it's gonna be easier for me to select both and change them around. So now I'm gonna do exactly what I did now that they're ungrouped. Click my score, hold down shift and then click my green layer. Click attach down there at the bottom once more and that is good to go. If you go right here and you flip, you can flip this back to the front, send to front, no problems there. Um, and another tip is to go ahead and group this all back together and I'll tell you why. Now, if you want it for a standard gift card, it's already pre-sized. There's no need to size it anymore. Uh, Becca did all that work for us. However, if you want to uh, make this a different size for any reason, you wanna make sure that's grouped so that you can size it together. That's super important. Um, okay, so now that you have that done, uh, that's it. That's all you have to do for that cut file. This is the exact same one. All we've done is taken this layer and scooched it over. Um, and then this is our bow. This is our 3D bow. This might look intimidating. I'm going to be honest, about an hour and a half ago was the first 3D bow I ever made and it was the easiest thing ever. I can't believe I was so scared of that. So I can't wait to walk with you guys through this. Um, so a good tip for sizing your 3D bows, let me just bring all of this down so we can see it a little bit better. Let me 
make it bigger too. This will be easier. So this is right how it will import. Um, so that's how it's going to look in design space. No need to worry about that. But you're going to think to yourself, well, this is not how the finished bow is going to look. So how do I size this? So this bottom one down here is actually about the width of this one doesn't change at all once it's cut that's the width that it is and this is also the longest part of the bow so all you have to do is basically kind of ignore these big ones and slide this on in here and our other cut file is too large so i'm going to scooch all this down perfect just slide this guy in here and see how pretty he fits up here at the top on this part that's going to be sticking out of our gift card holder perfect that's exactly what you want is just to size that one down there and um, it looks great. So once that's sized, that's all you have to do. The next thing, if you are a beginner and you might want to um, make sure that you don't have these confused on any other layers, change the colors, make sure the colors are the colors that you're gonna be cutting out. Uh, because once you click make it, the Cricut will automatically arrange these. So I actually do want this little quote unquote ribbon to be the same color as my bow so that is fine this is a different color which is actually a yellow so just for visualization's sake we're going to change this to a yellow and then we are using a green a little bit lighter of a green but that's okay so green there you go so this is the colors that we're using it's all sized everything's attached that needs to be attached all these layers are going to be cut beautifully you can see back here you have your score lines down there it's going to look great uh, we are using 80 pound cardstock so once everything is sized and ready to go go ahead and click make it and you can see the Cricut does its job by separating everything into the different layers that you're going to be creating go ahead and click continue and once you connect to your maker you'll be able to click your cardstock setting which will click 80 pound and we're going to give it a little bit more pressure now there's something that I want to let you all know we're going to go down here to this layer uh, because these two layers while they're going to be cut they don't need the scoring stylus this one down here does so let's just pretend you loaded in your mat you cut that one you loaded in your mat you cut that one now you're about to load in this other mat but it says these are, these are the tools required and one of them happens to be the scoring wheel so you don't have a scoring wheel or maybe you don't want to use it you want to use your scoring stylus all you have to do for that is to come up here and click edit tools right up here click edit tools and from a scoring wheel you can click a scoring stylus I know it says recommended guys but I promise you there is no difference we prefer using it as well because the scoring wheel actually has to go in clamp B and we want to stream on this and make it as quick and easy as possible and if we're constantly having to take out our blade and put the other blade in now put the scoring stylus in it's going to confuse us so we have our scoring stylus in clamp A and our fine point blade in clamp B and we don't have to change any blades or anything like that it's going to be super super easy okay i'm gonna take a breath now guys have i missed anything i don't think so i don't think so is a uh, closed captions available during a live dorothy i'm pretty sure it is a couple of weeks ago when courtney was downstairs filming with our videographer kevin i was watching a video that tanner and becca were doing up here upstairs and there were closed captions now how accurate they were i don't yeah. know the accuracy might have been a little questionable but they're not working for sarah i'm not sure why but yeah usually they will work it we don't control the closed captioning though youtube does all of that yeah yeah, that's true that's true um, okay so court if you want to go to the yes, overhead camera so I they can see these gorgeous little that. things look how cute okay so we've had some friends comment that they can put their name up here mm -hmm. no bow that might make it a little more masculine you can have your bow up top which is what we're probably going to do today use different colors you know however however you want to do it feel free to do it um, Adrian you're so sweet I love you. You're adorable. Um, Janice, great question. She says, what does ATG mean? ATG means advanced tape glider. It's a Scotch brand. We all know Scotch brand, Scotch tape. Um, ATG gun, advanced tape glider. Um, so first of all, also look how beat up this thing, guys. <laughs> we should order that one. 
We really do. So let us know if you've never used this because we're gonna be demonstrating it today because it's so easy to use. So the tools that we're gonna be using for this particular part of the craft is our bone folder, our ATG gun, and our hot glue gun. That is it, that's all that we're gonna use. We've already used our scoring stylus. Uh, we might need our scissors to do a little bit of trimming, but here is all of our layers. So we have our base layer, and I don't know if you can see those score lines. You might be I able can, to see I those see a little bit. Perfect. So we have that one that's scored. That's the only one that's scored. Then we have our back, and this is where the gift card goes. If you can see, it's um, perforated right there, right where you'll slip your little gift card in. Super cute. And then we have all of our bow pieces, which might look a little bit daunting. Don't let it look daunting. It's fine. Um, and then we have our little ribbon that's going to go over the base of our gift card holder. Now, I'm going to stop right here because we're getting into what we like to call newbie season. That is when everyone here is brand new with their crickets. So I want to make sure everybody uh, is okay and all the instructions are clear and that you're not confused about anything because we don't want you guys to be confused. So let us know if you have any questions before we move forward, if you have any questions about the membership or what we can do to help you through this craft. Or since it's Courtney's very first live stream, if you have any questions for Miss Courtney, I'm sure she would be delighted to answer. Um, I've never used the folder or ATG. I haven't seen the ATG in Australia. So Lynette, they might not be super easy to find in Australia. I, we get comments all the time saying, I wish that 143 vinyl was available in the UK, or I wish that some of this was available in Australia, you know. And we are so sad because we wish that we could do research and find you guys comparable um, you know, replacements for these, but it's, it's really hard for us to search those because we're here in the U.S. Um, but uh, anyways, we love this product. It's a great one. And the bone folder, let me tell you some alternatives for the bone folder. Really guys, all this does is make sure that your creases are really nice and crisp on the lines that are scored. So on this fella is the only one that has score lines. It has three of them. One right there, one right here, and one right here. And all that this is gonna do is help us make sure that we can crease that nice and straight. Um, you can also use a gift card. You can also use um, you can even use like a Cricut tool if you want to. Anything that's relatively flat um, is going to help you. So it doesn't have to be a bone folder. However, like I did mention uh, in the beginning of the video, if you are a paper crafter, it might be worth the investment because they're, they're pretty darn cheap. Um, yeah, so. And they last forever. You don't really have to replace them. No, I'm pretty sure we've probably lost more than we've had to. I mean, we've lost more than has broken or anything. Because, I mean, these things are super, super sturdy. Um, also, this is kind of like random, sure. but I was thinking about it just a minute ago when you were showing those cut lines in the orange piece. Um, we were talking about resizing it. You're not going to want to resize this in Design Space because then it won't fit your gift card. So in Design Space, I said if you are putting something else in it oh. or anything that is a larger size. Yes. But as, you know, if anyone's confused about that, that's a great point to make sure that we hit on court because if you do want this to fit a standard size gift it's card, already sized it's already pre-sized, pre -sized, so. just like I mentioned. You yeah. can't resize it. But if you wanted to put anything else in here if you wanted to um, go in there and contour out those lines and make it larger and put a photo right that there so you can cute. like pull yeah. a little photo up you can or make that bigger a note or something or a note yeah. just this could be a card I mean card gift card. yeah pull it's it up there's a card I didn't even think about yeah. that. so there's so many different possibilities yeah. just like we were talking about yesterday guys when Tanner was using those cut files to manipulate there's so many possibilities with different cut files and you don't just have to use them for the one uh, purpose that they are initially used for you can use them for so many different things which is awesome so yeah. okay we're gonna go ahead if we don't have any questions from any of our brand new people and we're gonna go ahead and crease these now I do want to mention this is textured paper the back is flat and the front is textured I want the front to be prominent I want this one to be facing out so we're gonna to have to bend it this way so what I'm gonna do is start it by pinching it just a little bit and once I get a little bit of a crease I'm actually gonna lay this down and put my bone folder down right at that crease and just push it back just like that and guys look at that crease 
Look how beautiful that crease is, gorgeous. And now you place it down, take your bone folder, just like that. Look at that beautiful crease, love it. So we have one crease done. It is satisfying, it is good for anybody that wants a, a good satisfying craft. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here, I'm gonna crease it just a hair so that I can see it a little bit better back here. I'm gonna put my bone folder down, crease it like that, and then once it's creased just a little bit as you can see, you're just gonna take it, whoop, whoa take it push it down just like that perfect now we have two down one to go right here this last one do the same thing i'm going to pinch it a little bit just so i can see it on the back because if you've ever worked with the scoring stylus you can't see the scoring lines on the back so you can only see them on one side and because we want this side to be like facing out then we have to be careful about that so just like the other one i'm just going to line that up and then push it to make sure it's creased and once it's creased a little bit, you can go in there, bone fold it, and that's done. Um, now that these are all folded in, it's gonna look like this, just like a little present. Uh, so this is when we're gonna be using the ATG gun. So I'm gonna lay this flat right how I want it. Now I'm gonna take the ATG gun, hold down the trigger, pull, and then I'm gonna release and pull up, just like that. And there's a line of sticky right there, super easy. Now I'm gonna do the same thing right here. Just like that, line of sticky, super easy. And I'm gonna hold these two down, just like that, and fold this. One side down, one side down, beautiful, love it. So now, the top, technically, is the only part you can get into now, which is right here. The ATG did a great job at sealing off the other edges. This is the folded edge, and these are the two sides that we uh, had ATG on, they look great. So. There's our little pocket and this is gonna be our present. Now we're gonna add our little ribbon here. So we're gonna flip this over and I think this is textured on both sides, yeah. So it doesn't really matter what size you, or side that you add ATG to this. We're gonna hold it, add ATG all the way around, just like this. This gun is so easy to use though, guys. The most annoying thing is whenever it gets jammed, <laughs> You just have to unjam it. It's not super quick, but really what is. Um, so we're gonna take this and place it down, make sure it's even, and then just push it down. Now ATG, the brand that we're using, they have different strengths of tape, but the strength that we're using is for paper crafts. So if I ever did this off, I could actually take this and peel it up just like so, and not hurt the paper at all, not hurt this at all, and it looks great. So if you ever mess up, this is not permanent, so don't feel like it's, you know, oh no, woe is me, if you mess up your project, totally fine. So just line that up again. I forget which way I did it, which it doesn't matter which way you do it. Line it up, place it down, cute. So there you go, see how cute that is? That's Super easy. Really cute. So easy, and then again, here's our two options. We're gonna do the same colors as this one, but place the bow up here. And guys, I can't wait to make this bow with you. So this fella just slides in there. You'll have your gift card right there. And then now it's bow making time. I'm so excited. So here's our bow pieces. So you're probably wondering, what's this little fella? He is gonna make it look super cute and finished at the end. That's this little bitty band right there that wraps around your bow. And then this is the very, very back of your bow. So you're not really gonna need this little fella either. You're not gonna have to do any manipulation. But these two you will have to do. So we'll go ahead and do the biggest one first. So I'm gonna bring my camera in even more and show you guys. So I have my hot glue gun. And the best thing about this hot glue gun is the itty bitty tip because that's what we're gonna need. So we're gonna add a teeny tiny little dot. Look how tiny that dot is, guys. Then you're gonna flip this over just like that, just like this. And you're gonna put this flat piece right on that flat piece, just match up the flat pieces. And then that's it. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna take it, put some hot glue right there and then flip it and fold it just like that. So take it tiny little bit of hot glue place this down guys one thing i love about becca doing projects like this is becca's color combos 
I mean, look at this color combination with those, the green, this kind of goldy, olivey green, and then that pink. Guys, I would have just never thought of a color combination like right? this. Me neither, but it looks so good. But it looks so, right, Cord, it looks so darn good. That's why I love Becca's color combos. She's so outside the box with things like that, which I'm not. I was looking for red and green paper, so <laughs> I'm pretty uh, traditional if you if you might say that. So um, I love her color combos. So let me know guys, what would your color combos be? Which ones would you go for? Would you be a little bit more traditional or would you be a little bit more outside the box and do some fun colors? Um, and of course this other one, exact same way. It's just a little bit smaller. You're just gonna take it, fold it with a tiny little bead of hot glue. See how easy? Flip it over, little bitty bead. I mean, guys, you couldn't get a bead of hot glue like that with any other glue gun, I'm telling you. It'd be a mess, your fingers would be burnt, would be burnt off, it just would not be a great day. Um, yeah, okay, that's it for those. And then guys, you're gonna stack them. So as you can see, I flipped mine over. There's this little bitty, mm -hmm. little bitty seam. Flip it over, flip it over, so now you have two pretty bows with no seams. And then in this big one right here, you're gonna just add another little dot of hot glue, just like that. Take your little one, line it up, and then push it down, just like that, and let it dry just for a few seconds. So easy. Now, look how cute we're making our bow. Look how darn cute this thing is, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and now, we're just gonna hot glue the back to it just like we did these other two. We're gonna add a dot of hot, dot of hot glue right there and then line it up and press it down just like that. So. It's too cute. It's too cute. Court, this is the second one I've ever made and I could not get over how easy this was. It's like I wanna make paper bows for everything because they're so darn easy. Look how cute. Just let it dry. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't deal with how cute this is. I mean, look at the different dimensions and layers. Yes, the dimension. So cute. Okay, and you now guys. Also, you can use this file and make it out of felt too. Oh yes, guys, if you are a member yeah. and you enjoy member-only videos, Miss Becca has an amazing member-only video all about, I think she made like eight different um, 3D bows with different materials. It was so neat to watch. So watch that if you have not already. It's a great video. Um, and now we're just gonna add that little band right there to top it all off. And we're gonna add a little bitty dot of hot glue right to the middle of our bow. And then take this little piece here, if I don't drop it again, and add it right to the middle right there. Press it down and let it dry. Perfect. Now we're gonna flip it over and hot glue it to the back. We're gonna add a little dot and fold it over, fold it and pinch it, just like that. I love working with hot glue on stuff like this just because it dries so darn quickly. And then another little dot of hot glue, last one, fold it over and pinch, just like that. Now once it dries, guys, oh my goodness, look at this little, oh, it's, it's so, so cute. cute. So again, here's the one we did, look at that bow, gorgeous. Here's the other one we did. Beautiful little bow, Becca did this one. And now we're gonna add the bow to this one. Let me come out just a little bit so you guys can see what we're doing. So you can take him out if you wanna focus, totally up to you. We're just gonna add this bow right here to the top of our gift card holder. So I'm gonna take the bow and add a little dot of hot glue. Oh dang, mine said a leather bow. A leather bow would be cute. <gasps> that would be so a cute. leather bow would be incredible. Becca would have so I done a leather if bow. She, did she do any maybe a faux leather bow? She did do a faux leather bow. I think she might have done a one real leather bow. Um, I know it was a little bit more difficult to cut, which yeah. real leather is difficult to cut with it the cricket. Um, but here's the one we made right now. So cute. Here's the one that Becca made, and then here's the other one I made, which I personally do like the bow on the top better. Um, but just like a lot of our viewers, if you wanna put a name on it, it's actually a great space to place a name right up there and have the bow down here to look like a, like a box present if you wanna do that, because that is super cute too. Just whatever you guys want to do is adorable. Love it. So guys, what did you think? What did you think of the colors that we chose of the little bow? I told you making that bow would be so cute. 
And so easy. Yes. I told you it would. Guys, you all have got me stuck on the leather bow. <laughs> that would be so cute. I think there's going to be a lot of gift card holders being made between now and Christmas because it's an easy uh, project for you to whip up and a great gift idea if you haven't found something for somebody yet because we only have nine days. <gasps> Is it nine days till Christmas? I think so. Oh. If I did that math right. <laughs> I think you did the math right. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Tomorrow's my sister's birthday, and I know she is born a week before Christmas. Seven days? It depends on how you count, which days you count. That's true. That's true, uh -huh. Corey. Are you, do you count today? Do you count? I don't. I wouldn't count Christmas, but today, I don't know if you count today or not. I would so. count today. Today's, okay. it's, it's already 2 p.m. here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. See, Court? Um, yeah. She's trying not to count today because she still has Christmas shopping to do. That's why Courtney doesn't want to count today. Um, okay, so, guys, I hope you like this. Yeah. Becca, um, again, put all these colors together. So cute. Love it. Love her bow. Um, these were my colors. Not as cute, but still cute. <laughs> I was looking for red and green, though, so you guys are lucky that I did, that I did like a, um, Non-traditional orange. Yeah, a little orange. And Miss Tracy, this is a gift card holder, my friend. She said, is this a card? Uh, it totally could be a card if you want to. Uh, me and Courtney were throwing around some ideas earlier, and there's little slits in here to add the corners of your gift cards. But you could really easily go in there on the uh, contour tool and contour those puppies out and size this whole thing up and add... A sentiment in there write you a little sentiment have the cricket write it this could easily be a card but this is a gift card holder what we made you today but it's so cute and Bethany thank you for liking my nails however if I got in super close you can see that this is in fact the worst manicure I've ever gotten in my life um, yes, I won't say where I got it done because again, I don't want to hurt anybody. I really don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but holy crap, guys, if you all ever get gel or shellac, you'll know what I'm saying. Um, I can already, it, my hair's already getting caught in my fingernails. If you all know that feeling, it's only been like three days. It was doing it on the second day. They look pretty bad. This wasn't the color. I wanted like this color. Like, mm. let's just look at the difference. I wanted that color, and they're totally like a peach, which is fine. I like peach, but not for the wedding that I was in. It totally clashed with the dresses. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. Rachel, did yes. you order any of the red aspen nails that I recommended? No, okay. I still okay. haven't ordered okay. it. I still haven't ordered okay. them. Court, like let's, let's talk about it. About Court, them. switch the camera to me, and then we're going to talk about your favorite nails, because okay. here's the thing, guys. There's no hate on those plastic nails that you buy at the drugstore and you press on nothing wrong mm -hmm. with those those are fine but Courtney was shopping around for some nails Court yes. tell them the gold mine the hidden gem they're called red aspen nail dashes in my opinion they are better than a dip manicure and a dip manicure is anywhere from like I think 40 to 55 dollars depending on the salon you go to and it lasts, I mean, dip can last a long time, but maybe like two, three weeks. These nail dashes last also two to three weeks, $13. You can do them at home, which means if you don't want to leave the house because of COVID or you just don't like interacting with people or you are busy all day and you only can do them at 1 a.m., your salon is not going to be open, so you can put these nail dashes on at home. Now, Court, are they super customizable? Yes, so the color of the polish goes all the way through the nail, so you can cut them and trim them and file them, and they have numbers on the back, so you always know which ones go on which finger. So when you get so another, you, when you get another pack, you don't, don't have, have to, to try, try them all on again. I didn't know that either. Yeah. That's awesome. So once you have your numbers, that's it. Yeah. Now, how many nails come in a pack? A, little, uh, a lot. A ton because yeah. there's so many different but, sizes. So they say they're reusable. You could pop them off when you're done with them and put them back on. But with all of the crafting that I do, that they take some wear and tear in those two, week, two, three weeks. So I won't reuse mine. But they don't get caught in your hair. It's really good. And for daughters, yes, they have a bait. They have a petite ones for uh, children or people with just small nails. That's so, so cute. And they have lots of colors, and you can get the long ones, any shape you want, and file them down. 
Court, go over here to this, to the other... Um, like the Cricut camera? No, not the camera. Go over to the website, Red Aspen Nails, and link that. Copy oh, and paste okay. that link in the description. I'll they're they're definitely okay. asking for it because they're super cute, guys. And, okay, I've tried to order them twice. The first time I tried to order them, it would not take my card info. What? Even though I know my card info. I literally have memorized it. I know my card info. It kept saying error, error, which made me so mad. Um, and then the second time I tried to order them, um, I got like halfway through and then stopped for some reason. And then I got um, paranoid because I thought, how much is shipping? Do we know how much shipping is, Court? Um, it, you can get free shipping if you spend a certain amount of money. Okay, that's um, always good. That's always good. I don't good. remember how much it was. So Courtney has dropped the link to these, the red aspen nail. Yes. The, the website is adorable. The nail color names are super cute yes they have i love winnie in the white snow that's a really good nude color or no winnie in the white sand and then i'm wearing oh just the plain white ones my Which sister liked the ballet nails. slippers i didn't love it it was a little too pink for me mm -hmm. um they have leopard those are really fun guys but this is like a whole new thing me and courtney have or oh, the courtney, black is good courtney's been on this journey for a while yes. too. this is my third pair i also put them on my mama and my sister and i asked for them for christmas too so I, i'm converted i don't ever need to go to a nail salon again that is so neat i love it oh god they also have toenail ones oh yeah i don't know how i feel about that <laughs> i don't know how i feel about that either uh but if you are into that they have toenail. I think they only have a couple of colors in the toenail ones, but they have like this in the nails. They have bright red and they just have super cute dainty colors. I wanted the white and like not the not the ballet slipper, but that kind of off off white pinky kind of powder. The in the white sand one that I yes, had. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I love that one, and then the white one is the two that I'm gonna get. I'm probably gonna go and try and order those again <laughs> now. Um, but yeah, go check them out. Those are super cute. But guys, how much did you love this? They're so how adorable. Fun. I love making this. And it was so easy, guys. You can do, I want to say, maybe three per sheet of paper, um, which is really nice. Uh, so they have different layers. I cut out two before the live stream. I made one before the live and one after, or one during, so you've not one after. And... The, my paper was pretty much gone. I'm, I maybe had a little bit of this, the uh, orange color, because it didn't take up a lot of the paper. So for three sheets of paper, you can get a total of two full sets out of it, which I think is pretty good for all the colors that you get. And if you work hard, you could probably squeeze some more layers in there and really optimize the use of all your paper. But they're super, super cute. Um, Carol, yes, my dear, scroll up. It's literally I can one, link it again. one, two, three, four. It's seven comments above yours, my dear. It is, it is there. Um, so Color Street, I don't think red aspen nails are like Color Street because I believe Color Street is like very thin. This is gonna be the thickness of like an entire dip manicure. They're hard, like hard plastic. Now, does it come with glue? Yes. So they does. just glue on? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Color Street, I believe you just like kind of press them onto your nails. Okay, now no uh, talking about the, the, um, the, the glue, How, does your nails come up easily? Like when you wanna take them off? Uh-huh. Um, when you want to take them off, you just soak them in uh, warm water and then take a flosser, like one of those floss picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And pull it under the nail, yeah. but above your nail, and it should come off no pain, no yeah. damage Does to it, your nail. No damage? Guys, that's my big pain. thing is yeah. the damage. I feel like manicures damage my nails a lot, so that's really, really good. Uh, but no, she has been converted, mm -hmm. so yeah. I love this side street we went on all because someone said, I like your nails, Rachel. And I was like, <laughs> what? Well, well, I'm passionate about these, so I have to tell everyone about them. This is the first time I've had the opportunity to tell them. Right, yes. Yeah. I told Courtney, I said, Courtney, these ladies are probably going to go crazy because this is your first ever live stream. I should have so made an affiliate account. You should have. Gosh, yeah. yes. Just like we should have for the Lynn Lily hot glue gun. <laughs>
<laughs> we well, love you, Lynn. They actually do have an affiliate for Aspen. Lynn doesn't have an affiliate, I don't think. Oh, well, yeah. she needs one. I could be a distributor for these nails. You could. Courtney, you're just the walking model. Mm -hmm. And Courtney's hands are so cute Let and dainty. Let me come show these. Yeah, come here. Yeah, switch the cameras before you come over here. Perfect. Okay, yes. Okay. There's my nails. Let me get the camera in a little bit oh. more. Yeah, yeah. There's the... Camera's way over here. There you go. Look how cute. And this is like a week and a half. So they're, they've grown out, but they don't get caught in my hair. That's amazing. They're I need to really feel good. these more too. Oh, they are good, nice and thick. Uh -huh. Court. Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah. I really like them. So thanks for letting me tell you about them, everybody. And Tanya, that means register like to sign in. Just go ahead and check out uh, as a guest if mm -hmm. you're wanting to buy them. Um, and that's fine. Although I did get caught up on that too. Um, but after you have some in your cart, just click check out as guest. You don't have to uh, sign in or anything though. Um, Wonder, does anybody have any questions about Makers Gonna Learn or the membership? Anything let holding know. you back that we need to help you with before we get off of here today? Gotta let us know. Yeah. Carol said, Courtney, you rocked the behind the scenes job. That is she so did. Sweet. She did. She did amazing. Maybe I'll get hired to do this more often. Maybe, <laughs> yes. Maybe we'll just have Courtney here. Maybe we'll just be ladies. Who needs Tanner? Exactly. <laughs> no, we all need Tanner in our life. It's this is good entertainment. He is, he is. So, guys, let us know, just like Courtney said. Um, make these for all of your friends and family. Uh, get the membership if you haven't already. A lot of people are getting the membership and gifting it to people. You can do that if you would like to give it yes. as a gift for Christmas, for maybe your loved one or your spouse, and they are super crafty. You can totally do that. Email hi at makersgonnalearn.com, and we can help you set up an account for somebody else, get you a gift certificate, something like that. We're working on actual gift certificates which would be super fun for you guys um, so that would be awesome for all those crafty people I've gotten so many messages guys on the YouTube uh, page from husbands asking which machine to get their wives so all you husbands out there you come to the right place to ask we love that you all are uh, in it to win it and so supportive so I can just tell that there are so many supportive spouses out there so if you guys are going to invest in a machine also take that next step invest in a membership like Maker's Gonna Learn because we're here to do nothing but set you up for success and make sure that you guys are comfortable and confident using your crickets and also to make sure that you have endless inspiration with the thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, and amazing community that is Makers Gonna Learn. So let us know if you have any questions at all. Again, it's still on sale, so snag that sale. I don't, I don't know when the Christmas sale is gonna end. I think Tanner might have mentioned the day after Christmas, the 26th. So definitely yep. snag your memberships. Is that right, Court? It is. Yeah, so snag your memberships for $40 off. You can use that code BEST at checkout, B-E-S-T, to get that uh, discount. And again, like Courtney mentioned that I forgot to mention, that also is grandfathered in. Mm -hmm. So every year that you renew your membership, you will still be locked in at that lower rate. If heaven forbid we ever raise our prices or anything like that happens, you will still be locked into the best rate ever. So that is amazing. Um, yes. Yes. So, guys, thank you so much. Linda, you're so sweet. Uh, is it, oh, it's Courtney's voice. They're talking about your voice. They're, they're never talking about my voice. That Courtney's voice. People love your voice. You have followers that love your voice. Guys, I just had to erase a comment today that said the video is okay, but her accent is horrible. Oh. I can't. I'm like, why would you, you pick Usually people it? say they love your accent. They could listen to it all day. They either love it or hate it. There's no. I like it. They I sound actually fun. don't think it's surprisingly. I don't really think that you have that much of an accent. Thank you, Cor. But now Courtney's voice, everybody could listen to all day because she's just, she's soft-spoken <laughs> and she just calms you down and soothes you. I'm like yelling in your face. But well, you yes. are loud, actually, I'm, which is kind of surprising in I'm, some ways to me. Because Courtney knows me too well. That's yeah. why it shocks her, I'd say. Um, Janice said, I joined because of Tanner's accent. Janice, I'm so glad we converted you from just Tanner talking. That's uh -huh. hilarious. Um, Michelle, what this. comes out tomorrow? I'd like to talk to her about this. Talk to me or talk Jan to Janice? Uh, or Michelle? Michelle, sorry, yes. 
it is a very good collection. It's going to be for some people, but not everybody. Like I said, we have to have a variety of cut files, right? Well, there have been a certain group of people that have been asking for these cut files for a long time. Are all and of them I, being uploaded? Yes. <laughs> and I have finally been able to bring you these cut files. I'm so glad Courtney's here. Um, Yes, they are going to be adult humor files. <laughs> like I said, not for everybody, but they're funny. Friday is my second favorite F word. <laughs> I mean, I refuse to say anything about this yes. cut file collection. There will not be a collection release on the live tomorrow no there sure will not Tanner be. opted to do something different very wisely he, yes. um, I am so you guys are not gonna see those tomorrow on a live stream but they will be on the site and you can download them and they I'm sure excited for you I'm glad Courtney is um, I wish I could I'm trying to look in Dropbox right now for um the please files. don't please don't this would be the requested. You can't even say one of them. What um, do you mean? Michelle, I, am I blushing? Am I blushing? Uh, it's, it's only like two or three that me personally, I'm uh, like, Because oh. you cuss and I don't really cuss. So I think it's funny that you are opposed to them and I'm not. I do cuss. However... Uh. It's, it feels different reading it. Mm. I don't know if anybody feels... You know what? But it's okay. They're, they're going to be on the site for whomever might enjoy them. Yes. I'm not going to be walking around with a couple of those on a shirt. However, some of them are hilarious. Oh, oh I'm, man. I'm I finally... will be walking around with some, some of these on a shirt because some of them are okay. hilarious. Let me, let me walk, say some of them. You say tomato. I say Bloody Mary. <laughs> this is probably the one. That's that yes. I don't think you should read that one. <laughs> okay. Well, probably not. But we'll probably get demonetized. <laughs> um. Anyways. I'm just one step away from being rich. All I need is now is money. <laughs> I'm like a hundred and four percent tired. It's funny. Better late than ugly. Maybe swearing will help. I would quit cars, but I'm not a quitter. Be quit yourself carbs. somewhere else. Yeah, I would quit carbs, but I'm not a yeah. quitter. That one's good. I resonate with that one. That's so funny. Sorry I'm late. I got here as soon as I wanted to. Sure. I'd agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. Why limit happy to just one hour? I can't be held responsible for what my face does when you talk. Ooh, oh, my gosh. Uh, it's true. I have, I have Ella, RBF, I think, but said I don't that she to. would like. I think Ella would like this one. Is that how you say Aaliyah. it? Aaliyah. 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 Yeah, she was saying how her face gets her in trouble sometimes. Aaliyah, I, my face all the time. If anybody, yeah, if anybody wants to know anything, it's just, I'm just here. This um, one is kind of funny. Can I read this one? More? Just one last one. Why do you say can I? Wait, let, let me see it first. Is it something bad? It's, one, no, it's, oh, it's fine. Funny. I'd like to thank my middle finger for always being there, for sticking up for me for all of those times when I needed it most. Uh, Tanner, are you watching? Can you help me? Uh, Tanner, help. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Friday um, is my second favorite F word. I'm not sure I'm fun size. That one's for me. Yes. Home is where the pants aren't. I'm just saying, there's that some That one is ones. true. Home is where the pants are. You look like a bee. I haven't been reading the comments. There's only like, well, really, okay, one. There's only one. And when you read oh, it, you'll be like, yeah. oh, that's the one that Rachel's like, ugh. It's like, you could show it to your kids, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, it's not the actual spelling of the word. No, but if any human being says it, it out loud, loud, you are screwed. It, it's the spelling of the word. <laughs> Tanner, where are you? <laughs> and I'm hot, and apparently I look like a beat. But, um, guys, I, listen, the, the hate comments, like someone saying that my voice is terrible or my accent's terrible, I, that's literally like making fun of someone for something they can't control because that's what it is. So I can't control my... It'd be different if she was like, I hate your hair color. I'd be like, sorry. But, like, she hates my accent. I literally can't fix it. So, I, it doesn't really bother me. But you guys are amazing coming to my rescue. Um, 
just be sure to check the site out tomorrow for those new cut files. Definitely. I think you're going to like them. I don't know if they're uh, good and stocking stuffers. And if you don't like stuffers, them, but... then we have um, lots of other cut files for oh, you. Oh, over 6,000 yes. for you. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. So check them out. Uh, I bet you guys can guess which one I'm blushing about. Um, but that's a bit. Uh, yeah. Boy, Courtney spills more beans than Becca. Cat, she I'm does spill more beans. I'm excited I don't get to come on here a lot. What time tomorrow? Uh, it's sometime in the in the morning. We're Eastern time. Um, I want to say they'll be uploaded through the day tomorrow. I'll by one thirty, they're usually all there um, because we usually are there. Um, you know, on the live stream showing you guys all the cut files. Um, yeah. But it is Thursday already. Oh, I'm I think she is in a time zone. Like she's far away because she said Lynette. That it's one d d less day till Christmas where she is because it's already Thursday there. Oh well, um, uh. close. Come back tomorrow. I hate that you're a day, you're a day ahead of us. You have to wait longer. I'm so so sorry. But yeah, some of them are really funny. The one about carbs is hilarious. I would quit carbs, but I'm not a quitter. Not a I love quitter. that. Yeah. yeah, they're really funny. Um, okay, guys, enjoy those cut files tomorrow. Uh, Tanner will be back. We're actually doing a really fun live stream tomorrow. So if you are a beginner, like a lot of you are, or you just kind of want a little bit of a refresher, tune into the live stream tomorrow. I think it's at one instead of one thirty. Don't quote me on that. But if you guys are wanting to know the time, come. A little bit early and see uh, what time it is scheduled for. Um, where do we go to look at them? Janice, same place you'd go for any other amazing cut file release. So if you are on our website, click cut files. And then from there, if you scroll down just a little bit, you want there'll be like a big banner on the screen. Yes, the picture is going to be of a mug with a donut on it that says I only eat whole foods. Whole like a donut. Yeah. See, some of these are hilarious, guys. Yeah. So click on that banner, or you can click the new category in all the cut files, or you can click view all. They'll be there too. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, definitely go and enjoy those amazing cut files tomorrow. We hope that you all are going to have a great night tonight. I hope that the weather is good where you're at. Go do something yeah, fun some today. Some people are getting 16 upwards of 16 inches of snow tonight. So. Um, be safe. Please and be I safe. I hope that your power is on tomorrow and you stay warm. Absolutely. Guys, and have fun. Again, Go snowman. Give us some hand clap emojis for Miss Courtney in her very first live stream. She killed it. We hope to have her on the live a lot uh, more. So thank you all so much and we hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, see. guys.